Okay, so appearance. This goes to that question about formal dress. Thank you. Um, so you may be invited to video chat, so appearance does matter in this. Dress like you're going to a career fair, at least from the waist up. Um, so a dress shirt, clean hair, clean face. Um, don't dress like you're going to a class or you're going to the gym or um, you're just on a casual outing. Avoid t-shirts if possible. Avoid lots of jewelry and avoid bedhead. Um, it's pretty easy to have that, you know, you just, you're thinking about this, you're like, oh, I'm just going to do chatting, I'm not going to get invited to the video chat. You don't know that, so make sure that you're, that you're dressed professionally, at least from the waist up. Um, this is just a graphic that I found of anywhere from business casual, pretty, pretty business casual, casual, like Friday casual, all the way up to a little more business professional. These are just some examples. You will notice that one of the gentlemen has a t-shirt on, one of the ladies has a t-shirt on, and a couple of the things, but they're more professional. They're clean, they're plain, there's not a graphic on them. They're covering them up with a sweater or they're partnering them with something that's a little dressier. So just consider, you know, what you're looking. Again, I said from the waist up, but when you log in and check that webcam, make sure that you see what you're wearing and make sure that it looks professional. So. If you have jeans on, don't stand up in front of the webcam. Make sure that you're below a table or something. So this is the one area that I want to stress the most is check your background. Um, before you log into that day of the event, take your cell phone if you can't turn on your video camera or webcam ahead of time. Hold it up, do a selfie, and just look at your surroundings and what is behind you. Um, remove any inappropriate pictures or background elements. Make sure there's no, not a ton of clutter. Um, just be really aware of what's behind you. Sit at a table or a desk, um, something that's more professional, um, just because you want to make it look like you are professional in case you get invited to that video chat again. So the biggest faux pas is ignoring your background. Um, just, you know, if you do have something on your walls behind you, make sure it's a neutral painting, um, nothing too graphic. Use your best judgment. Don't sit on that couch or comfortable chair because that will show up in a webcam. You sit differently than you do at a table or a desk. So again, there, that, go, that plays into that do. And then try to sit in a room where there is little traffic um, or no traffic if possible. So a lot of times, People have shared spaces or children um, sit where there is no traffic. If you do have children and you're in a bedroom, be sure to lock the door. This is one of my favorite videos about why we, we lock doors when we're expecting a web con conference. We'll just watch it without sound. You'll see what happens. Child walks in the room. She's dancing. Dad's on an interview with BBC television. The newscaster actually points out here, and if it had sound, you'd hear it. The newscaster points out that there's a child in the room. Now the child's siblings coming in the room in the, the walker. So mom comes running in the room. So one of the great things with this is that um, Ellen points out that the mom in this video, and this is why probably my best laugh out of this video, the mom is actually coming in and her pants are unbuttoned. So not only was this dad battling two children while on a live national broadcast, but his wife is also coming in with her pants down, essentially. It's a good reason to lock a door. Um, it keeps you safe. One item I want to point out about the video, the dad's background was really good. He had the map of the world. It was a professional thing. He was in a bedroom, you could tell because there was a bed on the side, but he tried to cover it up with some books. Be cautious of books. Um, book titles, sometimes they can blur, and in one of his book titles, there's some questionable words or questionable letters, and because they're blurred, it kind of looks like a not-so-nice book title. So books are good because books present, you know, that professional and that school image, but Make sure the books that you actually have there are presentable and not anything that could even be considered questionable. So this book had like a red cover and the letters on it when blurred, there was definitely an S, but then it kind of looked like sex. So be cautious on the, the lettering. That's one other piece of advice.